What's going on guys, TTL here, and today I'm going to be going over my top NBA free picks. Sorry for not having a video yesterday, um, my daughter's been sick lately, so I was just taking care of her. I did post a free two pick in the Discord, which unfortunately that missed because Jarrett Allen was throwing up before the game even started and played like seven minutes and then just didn't come back in the game because he wasn't feeling well, he said. Which is absolutely stupid. Um, if you're throwing up before the game, you shouldn't play in the first place. But it is what it is. Um, thank you guys for all the support, though. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're interested in joining the premium, the premium is $20 a month, which is the equivalent of around 60 cents per day. And you get complete prize picks, underdog, and thrive slips, as well as sportsbook bets, watch parties, and more. And if you want three free days, sign up to underdog or prize picks using code TTL. The code is at the top of the screen. You'll get a 100% deposit match. And again, you'll get three free days of the premium. So go ahead and sign up to underdog. Make that first deposit. Join my Discord and let me know. You'll get all my underdog plays. You'll get access to the VIP chat. We have a great time in there. And yeah, just come join our Discord and hopefully you'll have a great time with us. There's not much on the board right now that I'm loving. Um, I know it looks like there's a lot on the board, but really, um, with what should be up, there's just not. Um, there's a few plays that I love, but nothing that actually, like, I absolutely, like, lock or must play, you know? Um, which I use that term very loosely anyways. I don't really use the term lock. Um, a lot, but let's go ahead and um, open up Stat Muse so I can go over these two plays. Both of the plays that I'm going to give for free today are on prize picks just because they're first half plays. I don't like the full game plays on these for the reasons that I'm about to go over, but they're also huge favorites. So the spread is like eight points, nine points. So it has blowout potential. So I don't want our players to end up sitting and then that ruins the play. But first off, we're going right back to the well with Sabonis, 10 and a half points first half. We can take a look. He's hit this in all five of his last five. Um, I was just checking his PRA. I haven't actually checked his PRA, but he set all five of these in his uh, last five games. Um, he's been killing it. And if we look up Sabonis first half game logs, we can. I caught this last time, and if they haven't since they they haven't bumped it yet, I'm gonna keep taking this. But I noticed this last time. We can take a look at his game logs. We'll just look at his past like month or so. Um, but we can see. He's averaging like seven, six, nine, three that game, unlucky. Seven, 11, six, 10, eight, seven, nine, nine. He's averaging around seven or eight, around eight uh, field goal attempts in his first game. So he's um, in the first half. So he's shooting eight times in the first half. But then if we look at his full game game logs, He's only shooting around 13 times on average total per game. Um, and we can actually, I think that you can do it like that, right? You can. Okay, awesome. So we can see, usually it has an average at the bottom. I hate that it doesn't. Never mind. Um, but we can see he's shooting around 13 times in full games so if he's shooting eight or nine times in the first half he's shooting two-thirds three-fourths of his shots in that first half so having going for the full game points line rather than the first half would uh, rely on free throws it would rely on him just abnormally shooting up the same amount in the second half while if we take his first half, especially with the blowout potential in this Kings game, I really like taking this first half because he shoots so many buckets, the versus the Rockets, so he should be able to make them, I would think. And he's consistently hit this number as well. Um, I absolutely love this prop. This is one that I'm actually locking in um, 
for those reasons that I listed, but I do expect him to hit this in the first half. We can see this last game, for example. He got 12 points the entire game. He had 12 field goal attempts. We take a look at his first half. Nine of those 12, so three-fourths of the shots he took in his last game were in the first half. Um, he got 11 points in the first half. He had 12 points total. So that just goes to kind of show how awesome he's been in the first half. He's also hit this line in, I'm trying to get to his last 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So eight out of the last 10, he's hit this line. One of them was by a 0.5 miss versus Washington. And he only had seven field goal attempts. But I think versus the Rockets, he could literally have 10, 11 field goal attempts in the first half. And I absolutely love this 10 and a half number. Enough about that prop though. I know I've been going off on it for about three minutes. But I just wanted to show our free picks haven't been really hitting. We've been doing decent in the VIP. But our free picks haven't been hitting lately. So I want to go over exactly why I'm taking these props. Just so that you guys can actually trust. Like I am doing the research. Hopefully... We don't get screwed. Recently, fouls. Um, Jarrett Allen, like last night, feeling sick before the game started. We've been getting screwed over by these stuff, but I am putting in the research, I promise. Um, my other play that I am pairing with Sabonis is Jalen Brown over 13 and a half in the first half. We can take a look. He said this in four out of his last five. The one time he missed was versus Dallas. He got four points. And if we take a look at his game logs... We can see he's shooting around 20, 21 times per game. And in the first half, he's shooting 12, around 12, I would say on average, times per game. So he's shooting around at, at pace, honestly. He shoots about half of his shots in the first half, maybe a little bit more. But we can also see that... Um, there versus the Pelicans as well. But we can see he's been consistently hitting over 13 and a half in the first half. Um, he's been doing really well lately. And then we also put versus Pelicans. We can see he's hit both times in 2022. The one time, or actually they played three times in 2022, but he missed one time. So he's two out of three in 2022. But the one time they played this season, he did hit. He got 15 points with 12 field goal attempts. Um, the main reason that I'm taking the first half rather than the full game is because the Celtics are like nine and a half point favorites. Um, the spread is nine and a half points. So I don't think that he's going to be playing the full game. There's plenty of potential for blowout here. And I don't want Jalen Brown to end up sitting. Now, I will say Jalen Brown shoots a lot of threes. So we could even see, uh, even in the first half, five attempts, six attempts, two, seven, two. Um, recently, though, we can even see seven, two, six, five. Um, we'll shoot, in general, five, four, five, four, three, seven, four, three, three, four. So he's shooting three or four three-point attempts, and he's been getting unlucky. So even when he goes over his line, we can see zero for three, zero for three, zero for four, zero for three, one for five, zero for one, zero for five. He went over this last game, and he went zero for five three-pointers in the first half. So if he can just make one or two three-pointers, he should be on pace and should easily be able to hit this number. I absolutely love this plop, prop as well. Not plop, prop. Um, so definitely pairing these two together. Again, I don't have anything on underdog quite yet just because these are first half props and underdog does not have those. But I am locking both of these in and I would recommend you doing the same. Feel free to put these in any of your five pick flexes or anything like that that you make today. And let's make some money. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the Discord. And yeah, see you in the next video.